So I had these stored in a box, tucked away in a cool, dark part of my closet, and this still happened. Yo, this is Ben from Lease Expert. Today I have a quick review of the Fragment Design Air Jordan 3, and this will be a quick review because after this video, I will not own these sneakers. So I actually sold these sneakers and we'll talk about the reasons why uh, later on. So let's just start off with the box itself. So we have this nice navy, white, and blue box that's pretty consistent with a lot of designs by Fragment. A lot of their older collabs kind of utilize these three colors along with black and gray. And so um, they just went with this theme and within this Fragment Jordan collection, you see these colors throughout. And I think one of the shirts has this exact print on the back. So um, this has just been consistent with the design. And I'm, I, I, love, I love the details of the box. It, it's so simplistic, yet it stands out. And uh, I'm, I'm just a sucker for navy. So just taking a look at it, you get subtle hints of the Fragment logo. Um, and then if you guys want to take a look at the, the box tag, um, I got you guys, so just take a look there. Let's just open up the box. And we have the shoes, Air Jordan 3. So I think this aside, first things first, let's see what's inside the box. Um, we have this Fragment Jordan uh, shoe paper, which is a nice detail, but there are no accessories to the shoe. So put that aside. And what we have here is technically the second colorway of the Fragment Air Jordan 3. So the first colorway is a friends and family that is closer in color scheme to the Air Jordan 1. And so it has the whites, the blacks, and that royal blue, which is right here. So yeah, this is the second colorway. And just looking at the shoe, um, this Jordan 3 will actually have the same shape as the Jordan 3s that released in 2020. So it'll be very similar to this shoe right here. The Air Jordan 3 UNCs. Uh, the big difference in this Jordan 3 um, starting 2020 is the toe box. Uh, it's a little more elongated um, and this mudguard area is a lot more thin. Let's take a look at the materials of the shoe first. So what I see here is the upper, this white upper is this tumble-like material that's very comparable, if not the exact same as the UNCs. So I would say it's a good leather, but it's nothing too special. It, it's definitely good, but not great leather. Um, it, it's definitely soft. And I think one big misconception that sneakerheads have is that they think all tumble leather is considered good leather. But in this case, it's not. Um, I think a good tumble leather would be something like the Shadow Backboard 1.0s, which I have right there. But this is this is pretty good. It's it's not bad. It's the same as the UNC 3s. And I think where the good leather is is actually this black panel. So we have this smooth black leather all throughout. Um, kind of by feel like I don't know how to describe it, but it really feels like a nice black sofa. Um, I think that's how I could explain it. Um, and, and this is definitely the better leather of the two. And it's kind of wrapped around the entire shoe to give it that simplistic black and white look, which kind of this shoe's going for. And taking a look at the other details, we have this midsole, which is an all white midsole. It's the same exact tooling as any other Air Jordan 3. It has an air unit that's pretty old from 1988, so nothing new there. Um, and then one common feature within a lot of Fragment shoes is this code that's on the midsole. So this code is just the unique sample style code for this particular shoe. The first part, of course, is the season. So it's saying fall 2020, and the rest of it is just something that's kind of unique to the shoe that only Nike and the designer may know. Looking at the sole of the shoe, what we have is your typical Jordan 3 um, sole. And over here we have the Nike logo opposed to a Jumpman logo, which is a little inconsistent because typically when a Jumpman is found on the back, um, it's usually, it usually says Jordan over here. So just for comparison, UNC's have Jumpman on there and it has Jordan on the bottom. So let's see what else we could talk about on this sneaker. So uh, we get standard white laces. On the insole, we have a contrasting navy blue that's actually consistent with the box and this entire theme of white, black, navy, and blue. So 
it's a nice touch and on the insole uh, which is an Orth Light insole what we have is a Jumpman logo as well as the Fragment Lightning Bolt logo and on the tongue what we have here is it actually says Fragment on there stitched so the part of the shoe that I saved for last was this right here, the heel. So I had these stored in a box, tucked away in a cool, dark part of my closet, and this still happened. So if you take a look at this heel, you can see it's already yellowing. So these shoes are brand new. Uh, I didn't even lace these up, and the yellowing still happened. And, and for me, I, I knew that the yellowing was gonna occur eventually with this translucent heel material, but I was honestly, I wasn't expecting it to still yellow even though I took the proper precautions. And I'm a little disappointed because uh, this was definitely a shoe I was planning on keeping. Um, but because of this, I decided to list it and you know, luckily sold. So this is a detail that hopefully future collaborators could avoid because this just looks terrible. Because once you start wearing these shoes and this heel starts oxidizing, um, this is gonna turn pitch yellow. And that's something that will just look terrible in a clean, all white and black shoe. And then you have yellow on the back. So unless you're wearing these shoes like MJ with those baggy boot cut pants, um, it's gonna be hard to conceal this. So in terms of resale price, um, when these first came out in September of 2020, uh, they were going for the 500 range. And it seems like now time of recording is January, 2021. Uh, the resale price has slowly creeped up to about that 400 or 450 range. So I was lucky enough to sell these for about 440. So I figured that was an okay price and I didn't want this to yellow anymore. So I figured it was the best time to pull the trigger and, and let these go. I could only see the resale go up on these because as kind of months, years go by, it's gonna be impossible to find a pair without a yellow heel cup. So yeah, if you're looking for a pair and you don't mind this, this might be the best time to cop. But I, I could see used pairs show up later on in the market with very yellow heels. So as I said, like if this is an issue to you, go ahead and cop, but that one flaw just it's too much for me. So, so yeah, so if you guys have any questions regarding this silhouette or even the Air Jordan 3, please leave me a question in the comment section below. Please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for tuning in.